All right. All right, guys and gals. Hopefully we've we've uh, passed enough common sense around by now uh, to the point where we're going to go back and reflect. And now I want you to now I want you to really open your eyes and watch again what they have used in the past and they're using in the present to bring their little agenda to fruition in the future is what they're doing. And I want you to, there are certain things, I'm not going to say what it, what I'm talking about right now. I'm just going to let you watch it. But right now I want you to remember how you first felt when you watched it. You'll see it when it, when I press play. And then I want you to look at it now <laughs> and do that stupid thing. I tell a lot of people to do Ask yourself what would happen if you were in this position. Ask yourself how you would be acting if you were in this position. This is about to be comedic gold. And you are about to see what people respond to when they're, uh, how they respond, all this other stuff, because they're told to respond to stuff. But when you go back and reflect on everything, all the crap that they've been told, you can see that at the time it was, you know, Nobody really took the time to pause and look. But if you go back and take the time to pause and look, you're going to be seeing what so-called conspiracy theorists were saying a long time ago. And you're going to see that it was right. And you're going to see how silly a person would be <laughs> to believe something such as. This character is what I'll call him. Uh, the corner, the corner, what do you call them? The corner or whatever is even, hmm. I probably shouldn't even say it. I'll just let you watch it. Next door to the firehouse that is behind us. Hold on, we're gonna. His own son went to the Sandy Hook Elementary School, and yesterday he took in six. We are now joined by an eyewitness to this tragedy. Jean Rosen is a longtime resident of the town, and he lives right next door to the firehouse that is behind us. His own son went to the Sandy Hook Elementary School, and yesterday he took in six young children from the school who were traumatized by the attack. Thank you for being with us. Good morning. Good morning to you. We know how difficult, know how this, difficult is this is for you. For you. Taking in those, Taking six, in children, those six children. What was that like? Was that like? The children, were, the children so were so frightened. I didn't know why they were on my lawn. I didn't know how they got there. I looked outside and I saw these six children. And I thought that they were practicing a play or Cub Scouts. <laughs> They went and like, approached, approached them, them and became clear, clear. They, were they were so distressed. They were they were just they so were distressed. So I took, them, I took them into my house and they were crying and, they were crying and, talking. and talking. I got them some, I got stuffed, them some stuffed animals. animals. Because we have a lot of my grandson. You didn't understand what was going on. You didn't understand what was You see how he goes off. He goes off, and the anchor person has to bring him back onto what he's supposed to be saying. I had no idea what had happened. Took them into my house. And they were crying and talking. I got him some stuffed animals. Because we have a lot of my grandson. You didn't understand what was Did you understand what was happening? I had no idea what had happened. There seemed to be a bus driver. I don't quite understand. They picked them up. And they stopped, and they stopped in, front in front of my house. And she said there was an incident. I had no idea what had happened. And then the children started talking. I feel they had witnessed. Some of the blood. <laughs> Some of the blood shed. Yeah. Very brave. Very, brave. <laughs> very, sweet, very children. sweet children. We start calling, we start their, calling parents. their parents. And they, and they, they just said, they just I, can't said I can't go back to that school. And they said something, said something their about their teacher. And then, and then their parents their start coming slowly. They were such, they were such Sweet kids. Sweet kids. These were young These children. Were young children. Were young children. Were young children. They 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 were young children. They
they talked, they about, talked a gun. about a gun. I, I, had, a I had a strong sense. sense. They had witnessed something. Were they in passing? When they were leaving. When they were leaving. I don't know if they fled from the school. I don't. I don't know how that happened. They were in my front lawn. Very nice. Very nice. I want to see them again. See them again. What, would you, what would you say to them if you saw them right now, Gene? I would tell them how brave they were. Tell them how brave they were. And how I'd be their friend. And I'll never forget them. How long was it before their parents were able to get there? About 30 or 40 minutes. How were they doing during that time? There was one little girl who was inconsolable. I put my arms around her. The boys and the other two girls. They were very composed. I think they were shocked. Sure. I think they were really shocked. They they were they were brave. They were really sweet children. I can't go back to that school. What, what message would you like the rest of the country to hear about your experience and the children, and of, this the children of this community? The beauty of children, the, beauty of children, the, strength, of the strength, children, strength of children, and the kindness, the kindness of, of the community, community, the goodness of parents. I want to meet your parents and speak with them. This is a very community. It's a very tight community. I was going up to a diner, a small little country diner, and I saw the children. My life changed. Thank you for sharing your story with us. Thank you for being here. No comment. Just, just that is the that is the hallmark. No comment. I don't think they're probably gonna take this video down. We'll see. <laughs> you people. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to. I just try to, every time I remember this dude. 